history here in Vienna. There's Grace, his wife, looking on. She's never seen him race before in the flesh, remember. What a moment for her. What a moment for what a moment for the children. The pace car is gone. We've lost the laser. He's getting now. One it's K now oh. all down to Elliot and the pace. The maker. gloves are off. He's this getting is, quicker. He's racing right now. This is this is racing. Well, this is true racing. Shalane knows what this feels like through the streets of uh, Central Park in New York, whether it's in Berlin or London. But today is all about Vienna. Today is all about Elliot Kipchoge. We're down to the last couple of minutes to bring him home. Ed, some final thoughts from you. I'm overjoyed that particularly this man has got to do this. Uh, it's not just the barrier being broken, it's something that has existed in this person's head for so long and I'm, it's so gratifying to watch, watch him achieve that. He's almost there. He can see the finish line, that's the view from Elliot Kipchoge, you can see the finish line where we are looming into view, 157 and approaching 158. I think we can say with some certainty there now he's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's right going there. He's Go on. to move away. Come on, he says. Come on, this is it. Shalane, a final call from you. This is incredible. Elliot's performance is such a gift to the world. His running is a gift to all of us. I feel so blessed to be here today. I feel like, I hope everyone can hear he's smiling through this microphone right now. I cannot stop smiling. 500 meters to go. He has the Hauptalli to himself. He's All the pacemakers have let him go. As Ed said, he is sprinting into the history books here. They're cheering him on. 400 meters to go. Let's bring him home. This is history unfolding on the streets of Vienna this morning. It's a Saturday run like we've never seen before. Listen at the noise. The crowd getting right behind him. Goodness me, 300 meters to go. He can see the finish line here. Neil Armstrong we had on the moon in 1969. We had Roger Bannister, the four minute mile 65 years ago. Edmund Hillary, the first man to climb Everest in 1953. We have one minute to go. Elliot Kipchoge is on his way here. It's not this, gonna humble, be a minute. this humble farmer who used to run two miles to school every day and back. He used to go to the nearest town on his bike to sell milk at the local market. And now, through hard work and discipline, he's pointing. Come on, he says. Elliot Kipchoge has the hand of history on his shoulder. He has less than 200 meters to go. Elliot Kipchoge, let's keep an eye on the clock. Into the final 20 seconds. Elliot Kipchoge. Whoa! Shoulder 140, oh, oh, oh. 140, the unofficial. Oh, line. there's his wife. Elliot, Elliot Kipchoge storms into the history books in Vienna. 159.40, the unofficial time. The first man to run a marathon in under two hours. One final lung busting stride for Kipchoge. One giant leap for human endeavor. And you know, Kipchoge was right. No human is limited.